everybody. Welcome back to Stitching Big Things with Hallie. I'm Hallie. Thanks so much for joining me again today. Today is Friday, April 15th, 2022. If you are a new viewer and stopping by to check out the channel, welcome. Uh, this is a channel about cross stitch, so hopefully you are in the right place. And if you are a returning viewer, hi guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for spending your precious time with me again. Well, today is April 15th. If you're in the United States, it's tax day and hopefully you've all gotten your stuff taken care of. We certainly have. Uh, today is also Good Friday if you celebrate uh, and Sunday will be Easter. So we will be celebrating, of course, and I'm so excited my kid, my big kiddos are coming back from college, both of them today. I've got one coming back in a few hours and then one who's taken his GRE this afternoon and will be back late tonight. So super excited to spend a couple days with them um, and they'll both go back on Monday. So um, super excited. So if you were with me uh, from the last visit, um, you know that I went to, <clears throat> sorry, a retreat uh, over in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And I'm going to share all about that at the end of the video today for those of you who might not be interested. Uh, but those of you who are, definitely stick around because I got some great haul. We had some great things that happened, new and different things that happened this time around. Um, and I want to discuss it all with you. So, okay, let's quickly get into the whips. First, I started off uh, by working on this. This is Scaredy Cats. This is a artwork by Jeff Haney and uh, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And um, if you guys saw last video, I had started this for 2020. Uh, no, 2021 when I was doing the No New Starts. So I had started it in 2020 for 2021. I didn't work at, on it at all last year. So I picked it up. I had about 200 stitches in it and I got maybe 500 extra stitches in it last time. I continued to work on it this two weeks um, since I've seen you last and I got um, almost 2,500 stitches into it. So here is where we are at. Um, lots of different purples, lots of fun. Um, and we're at that awkward stage if you do Hades, you probably understand and have lived through this stage where you're like, hmm, so are those the right colors? They look pretty dramatic compared to the picture. Hmm. My experience, my personal experience is stick with it. These colors are going to soften as you get other additional colors in and we start to get down into these cat ears. That's going to start to give a different perspective and we get more into the pumpkin. Stick with it. It looks harsh. It looks brash right now. Um, my experience with the five or six that I have going is stick with it. It will soften as you get farther into the picture um, and out of just this concentrated area. So I am stitching this on 20 count uh, easy grade fabric to over one. So loving it. Um, I'm, I'm ex super excited because this is, you can't see, but this is all going to be this really dark purpley color. I had kind of outlined it. Now I need to just go fill in and there's a bunch more. I'm kind of, that's kind of the color I'm working on currently. So just a lot of uh, big bulk stitching right now, which is always kind of nice, you know, when you're watching TV or listening to a book or doing whatever, just to kind of be able to go. So uh, the next thing I worked on is a new start. Um, I found this, this was a new item from market this year. And if you guys, if you're new, you don't know, but uh, if you're returning, my husband and kids play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. And this is a, a this saying my husband has seen in many other places, and he's not ever purchased anything with this saying on it, but he thinks this saying is kind of funny. And so when this came out, I was like, Oh, I need to do this for them. So this is going to be a surprise that I'm stitching for their uh, Dungeons and Dragons room. Um, and so a perfect time to start it and to work on it 
was my retreat because I had three days where I didn't have to kind of keep it tucked away, keep it out of everybody's view. So the only thing that I did change, you will see here in a second, is I did not put it on this green fabric. What I was wanting was more of like old scroll type fabric, like, like old weathered um, looking fabric. So I ended up with this. I did not bring what this is. It's still in the bag. I will link it down below. It will be in the description in case you are wondering, but this is the fabric that I decided to use. Now, the other thing that I found so absolutely fascinating is in this picture, like, it just looks like normal. Like, okay, cool. I can't tell that there's any sparkle. There is all of this is the majority of what I have stitched so far. All of what I've stitched so far, not even the majority, is has been in um, a silk lame braid. So it's silk, and then it ha it's braided in with this shiny. Hopefully, you can kind of see that, particularly in this color. You can kind of get that. Every single one of these is shiny, so it's got a little bit of bling to it. Um, I did not realize that when I purchased it, did not realize that from the picture. This is going to be absolutely stunning. It's really hard to get it to come across in the picture, but in person, it is stunning. This is a deep eggplant purple, um, so it goes really, contrasts really lovely with this bright orange that's got just a little bit of sparkle that's really hard, again, to pick up. You can kind of see a little bit of it right there, but um, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so excited. I think the kids and my husband are going to love it. Um, so I am working on that in secret for them. But you will continue to see it. Um, I was able to get quite a bit, of, quite a few stitches on this. Um, 2,052. So uh, in three days, you know, there were lots of, lots of talking. Lots of running around. So um, pretty good for a few days. Then I decided I needed to get going on my WIPCO when I got back. The other thing that happened to me after my retreat is I had a little bit of a, I, don't, I guess, stitchy hangover, for lack of a better word. Um, I just, things have been busy at home, and I just haven't had a whole lot of time to sit and stitch. And even when I had time, like, I caught up on Trashy TV, I read a little bit, I napped, I just... It's like you, you stitch, 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 and I just needed a little bit of a break. But I think I am back in the swing of things, and this helped me do it. As I told you guys, I am using uh, WIPCO for my non-full coverage projects. This qualifies. Um, I think this was number five that got called. I can't remember exactly. But the goal that I had on my WIPCO was five days. So the beauty of my board is there's no... Um, projects on there it's only goals so I'm using it for non-full coverage so I can look at all my non-full coverage and what speaks to me is what I'm working on so five days is going to be spent on helianthus uh, by Glendon Place again must be a Glendon Place week couple weeks um, I love this this one is all done in silk um, and it is absolutely gorgeous uh, dinky dies so um, so let's show you where I got to. I am doing this on the called for fabric, uh, which is Tyco, uh, which is a cashel linen, 28 count by picture this plus. So, and where I started, I had this whole centerpiece done. So I've started now on these with the variegated floss. I am loving this. I got about 883 stitches into this so far. Um, and technically, I've gotten four of my five days. Not all of them were great stitchy days, like I've told you. So I may add a couple more uh, extra days just to give it a little more oomph. Um, just because I don't like... Um, you know, the goal is to, to get these projects moved ahead. And if I don't get a big stitchy day on it, I, I feel like it kind of gets cheated. I almost like to go with stitches more than days is what I'm figuring out from my uh, whip go because then I kind of have to decide, well, you know, 
wasn't a very good stitchy day. Does that even count? So, um, but that's where we're at. Um, this is two over two over two, um, stitching two over two with all the called for dinky dies. So it is beautiful. The other thing to remember with projects like this, the mandalas, I um, told you guys in the past that I had trouble when I had one of these because I would turn it and then my stitches were going all different directions. So uh, I had put my tag, my note on my, um, there's a red tag, you can't see it. It's up here at the top of the fabric and I make sure that that is the top of my fabric so that all of my stitches, I keep that at the top so that all my stitches go the one uh, one way. They don't all go multiple ways as as it would be convenient to turn it. So, and I made my tag on there so I re or put my um, note on my pattern so I would not forget. So if you've not heard that little bit of advice, he did because um, I've messed up two of mine doing that. And um, anyway, I'm working to make sure I don't do it again. So that is pretty much it for the stitchiness. Um, so, you know, a little slower, two weeks. Things are really getting busy in the evenings um, with wrapping up things for school. Um, we've had, um, my son got recruited for baseball. Um, and so... I don't have to do much for golf, but for baseball, there's baseball games in the evenings. Um, track is now over uh, for my middle schooler, so that's good. Those things will be a little slower, but um, it's just a busy time So uh, as spring approaches. So, okay, let's, if you were only here for the stitchy stuff, thank you so much for joining me. If you are interested in finding out about retreat information, I'm going to do a quick summary and go over a little bit of what we did and what I got. Um, so if not, if you're signing off, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Okay, first, um, first two things. Um, I need to thank Tina Davidson and Janetta Martin. And I know they have a whole team of people, but uh, those two are kind of the leaders of the group. And um, with them and their team, they put on a wonderful, wonderful retreat. This is the third time I've been there. Every year the retreat grows. This year we had 150 people. We maxed out the room and we had probably a 10 person wait list. Um, so it's getting more popular. The word's getting out. Um, and it is so nice. I don't know how many people, this was the first time they'd been to a retreat. When we met them, they, you know, were excited um, and and talked about the anticipation like the night before. Um, and so, and when I spoke with them, you know, I checked in back with them during the retreat and they were so happy. Absolutely great time. So definitely Tina and Janetta, thank you so much from everybody at the retreat. I know you've gotten a ton of thank yous online, but thank you so much for me. Um, Dee Dee and I had a wonderful time and um, look forward to next year. I do have to also recognize our uh, exclusive sponsor. That is the Stitch Niche. They are a, my LNS that's over in Arlington. Um, they are a wonderful little shop there and um, they bring over quite a bit of stuff. They are also a vendor at the facility, but I know that they are a huge um, contributor to what happens um, for us at that facility. So thank you um, to the owners of the Stitch Niche and to all the ladies who work there um, and come back and forth. We greatly appreciate all you do um, and know that without you, we might not have our experience. We had some fantastic vendors. Every year our vendor list grows and I wanna make sure I don't miss anybody so I'm gonna look at my notes. Um, every year, Leslie from Under, Under the Sea Fabrics has been there. Every year she brings more and more fabric and every year, um, I can't imagine how much fabric she sells. It is, it's a race to wait for her to open. So um, as always, I've gotten, I got four different items um, of her fabric. Um, 
so thank you, Leslie, again, if I, I doubt you watch, but if the word ever gets to you, we appreciate you coming and hope it's a valuable thing for you. We had the bag lady was there uh, this year, uh, Debbie Coburn. She does a um, wonderful job making bags. She does take pre-orders. The theme for this year was blue bonnets. Um, blue bonnets are the um, state flower in Texas. And right now in April, they are blooming everywhere. And people go and sit in fields of blue bonnets to take pictures. I mean, it, it's a thing here in Texas. And so that was the theme this year. Um, she did a bunch of bags in, in that um, fabric. Um, they had scissors that were um, in blue bonnets. It, it was really good. The theme was really, really well spread across everything. We had the Texas Tattered Treasures. She brought all of her goods and had a variety of wonderful handmade items, which we loved. Lucy Beam came. She brought um, a large amount. I don't think it was all of her um, items, but um, she brought a huge display so you could see them um, and all of her, a lot of her patterns. Uh, Rovaris Cross Stitch from Italy were there. Um, they had fabric. They had... Um, patterns. They had unique little trinkets and treasures. Um, and it was, it was wonderful. It was really nice to meet them. Um, and hopefully they're enjoying their time here in the United States as they travel around and sell their products. We had, um, two new people who came. We had the scissor chick who came over and she did sharpening of our scissors, um, which was really, uh, unique and really, really nice and helpful. And we also had the restorative massage therapy. So we got uh, chair massages if you wanted to sign up, which is super nice. Because you guys know or if your head's like this or even if your shoulders are up, sometimes you just need a little, a little relaxation. So he was swamped. He was very, very busy. I think uh, everybody took great advantage of him being there. So those were super fun additional items that were added. As always, we had fun activities. So all of that was there. Those vendors were open every day, um, all the way till the very end. But there were lots of activities that were going on inside the room. We had a mystery exchange where there was 10 items. You were given little prompts and you bought 10 items and wrapped each item individually, put it into a big uh, package of some sorts. And then they did an exchange of those. That was super fun. They did a needle minder exchange, a smalls exchange. Um, we played bingo. We had scavenger hunts. They did door prizes. And they also even this year offered a class that talked about different ways um, to start threads on different kinds of fabrics. So um, that was put on by the EGA. We also heard, we did hear from the EGA, they had um, some representatives there and we also heard from the Tudor Rose Sampler Guild Society. Um, they each had baskets and they also did um, raffles for um, their organizations. And the Stitch Niche also had gotten a hold of the Lady of the Flag and they did a raffle of that um, and all the proceeds for that raffle went to Ukraine. So um, lots and lots and lots of things happening the whole weekend. You kind of had to keep up with what all, all was going on. You could participate in what you wanted and what you didn't want. Um, and it was just, it was exciting. There was um, a little something for everybody. So, okay, let me show you real quick what I ended up with. Oh, I did, I forgot to tell you, there was a brag table, so a huge brag table, and there was also um, like a, I don't know what they called it. Um, I can't remember what it was called. Anyway, it was like we a uh, past the stash table. Um, so, and that I got actually an item off the past the stash table. So there was a pile of this, this Christmas fabric and it's cut into little pieces like this. And I think this is absolutely perfect to back some of my Christmas ornaments that I am doing. So, I don't know exactly what, there's a whole, like I said, there's a whole little bunch of it here. 
And so, because it was on the freebie table in the past the stash table, I just, I picked it up and that's what I brought home. So I was super excited to have gotten that. I think that will come in very handy when I'm looking for backing fabric. I also won one of the door prizes um, one of the evenings. And what I got was this wonderful little um, grouping of fabrics. So I haven't pulled it out. I don't know what sizes they are, um, but gorgeous colors, nice material, and it looks like a good amount, a good amount of size. So always fun to add to our stash. Um, okay, I purchased, so then I was able to purchase some patterns. I got this cute little uh, Tell and Emblem tiles. And I think what I'm gonna do with this, I actually got this from the Stitch Niche. We, my friend and I, Dee Dee, who came down, hi Dee, um, who came down from Minnesota. Uh, she came in on Thursday. The retreat started Friday at 11, don't tell my husband. I got there Thursday. <laughs> Picked Dee Dee up from the airport when I finally got to the right airport. I went to the wrong airport, you guys. I, I had like a mental craziness. Good thing they're not that far apart. Anyway, she waited, got to stand up for a little bit, wait for me. Um, I picked her up from the airport. We decided to run down to the Stitch Niche because I wanted to look for some floss, which they didn't have, but they're ordering for me, which is wonderful. But I was also looking for something for StitchCon Retreat for my smallest exchange. So I think I'm going to do one of these. I don't know which one yet. I honestly could do this whole thing because it's so super cute. But I think one of these stitched up in um, probably not a pillow. I'll probably do a little flat fold because um, I know how to do that pretty easily. Um, or even put it in a small little frame. Um, but I think I'm going to do one of those for StitchCon. So um, when I talk about, I, I probably will not show it as I stitch it. I will probably have pictures to show after I get back from StitchCon. So, but you guys can see, you, you, the question will be, which one do I choose? So, um, so I did pick that up, um, from Lucy Beam. I picked up off her table. Cross Stitch makes everything okay here. Um, I just think that's so cute. Um, so... And I probably will not use that fabric and I probably will change the colors, but I love the saying, so super cute. Then from Rovaris, I picked up Daisy. Cause who doesn't love a Daisy? I love daisies. I just think they're beautiful. And I also picked up America. I love that ship. That makes me happy. So I got both of those. Also from Rovaris, I got a uh, scissor fob. That is Murano glass um, that just has some little things on it. The little charm on it says, I'm uh, made with love. So just a little handmade, cute little thing. And then I got to the fabric stash and I kept going back to the fabric stash and I didn't purchase anything further, but I did start with this. This is from Under the Sea Fabrics. This is Valkyrie. I got the fat quarter. No, yeah, that, I did the fat half. I might have done the whole yard. I don't know, I did a big piece. Um, just this, it's showing really purple on here. It is not as purple. Um, it's more bluey purple, um, but super, super pretty. So there is that. I got that one, which great color. I also got this one um, is a very soft yellow, a yellow and white, which I don't have a lot of yellow fabric. So um, I was super happy. Sorry, that messed up my camera. So I was super happy to get that. This one is called Buttercup. It's a 28 count Lugana. The, the Valkyrie was 28 count Lugana as well but just a real soft, pretty buttery yellow and white. So then I got, what is this one called? Sorry, I'm digging. Uh, Beach Walk, 28 count Jubilin. And it is blue and soft pinks, kind of a nice, 
uh, pretty, almost sky color. Um, really, really pretty. Just a nice uh, piece of fabric. Again, I have no idea what I will stitch on these. I just grabbed what I loved. And then this one, like, I could, glad there was nobody in front of me because I'd have probably tackled them. This is Heaven's Fury. I'm going to open this whole piece because it is gorgeous. I mean, what a great piece for Halloween, for just a black, for a mirror, for anything. I have no idea what I'm going to do on it, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Heaven's Fury. Um, what did I tell you it is? It is a 32 count linen. So absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, so happy to get that one. Um, and eventually there'll be something fun to put on there. So that was what I got. Um, not a whole lot, just a little bit um, of goods. I wanted to kind of um, touch most of the items. Um, it was super fun. For those of you who've never gone to a retreat, I really, really suggest that you take time, make time to get away and go um, commune with stitchers who love what uh, they do as much as you love what you do. It is a wonderful uh, rejuvenating process. So we had a wonderful table. I sat at table two. Hi ladies, if you're watching. Um, great, great people. You meet so many people. Um, I had lots of people that I met last time who were returning um, again this year, which was super nice because you get to go and check in on them. I got to meet a couple of ladies who are uh, also viewers here. So if you um, stopped by and chatted with me and told me that you stopped and, and uh, watched my channel, thank you so much for doing that. Um, it was super, super nice. Um, I enjoy always, um, getting to know people. Um, so that's always fun and hearing what they like to stitch. Um, it was just, it was a great experience. It was a great three days. Um, super fun to have my friend come with me to it as always. And, um, you know, she's got her own group of people that she meets and touches back with each year, which is super fun for her to have friends down here as well. So, okay guys, well that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I promised you that I was going to redo a review of the lights. I will. This one's getting a little long. Um, and I do have some things happening here not too long from now. So I'm going to push that to the next one and I will do a review of the lights that I took with me and let you know whether I would recommend or not recommend. So, okay. Well, that about wraps it up. I am going to continue to add stitches in. I need to get my next WIPGO project up and going. Um, I think that one is 4,000 stitches, so I need to make sure that I choose appropriately for that one, and I've got one day or probably a few days left um, on Helianthus that I will make sure I add as well. Need to keep, I haven't touched Cookie Fairy for a while, so she needs some love, as well as some of the other full coverages. So, um, until next time, guys, everybody stay safe, have fun. And don't forget, keep stitching those big things.